God made everything. When God made the first man, Adam, he lived in the Garden of Eden with his wife Eve. They were perfectly happy obeying God and enjoying his presence until one day. Did God tell you not to eat of every tree? The serpent asked Eve. We can eat of every fruit but one, she replied. If we eat or touch that, we will die. You won't die, the serpent smirked. You become like God. Eve wanted the fruit of that tree. She listened to the serpent and ate the fruit. After Eve disobeyed God, she led Adam to eat the fruit also. Adam should have said no. I will not obey. I will not disobey God's word. When Adam and Eve sinned, they both knew they were naked. Sewing fig leaves into aprons, they covered themselves and hid in the bush from God's presence. In the cool of the evening, God came to the garden. He knew what Adam and Eve had done. Adam blamed Eve. Eve blamed the serpent. God said, the serpent is cursed. The woman will have pain when children are born. Adam, because you sinned, the earth is cursed with thorns and thistles. You will toil and sweat to get your daily food. God put Adam and Eve out of the wonderful garden. Because they sinned, they were separated from the life-giving God. God made a flaming sword to keep them out. God made coats of skin for Adam and Eve. Where did God take the skins from? In time, a family was born to Adam and Eve. Their first son, Cain, was a gardener. Their second son, Abel, was a shepherd. God was not pleased with Cain's gift. Cain got very angry, but God said, If you do what is right, you will not be accepted. Cain's anger didn't go away. Sometime later in the field, he attacked Abel and killed him. God spoke to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know. Cain lied. Am I my brother's keeper? God punished Cain by taking away his ability to farm and making him a wanderer. Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. He was married to a daughter of Adam and Eve. They raised a family. So Cain's grandchildren and great-grandchildren filled the city that he founded. Meanwhile, the family of Adam and Eve grew quickly. In those days, people lived much longer than today. When her son Seth was born, Eve said, God gave me Seth to replace Abel. Seth was a godly man who lived 912 years and had many children. In the world, people became more and more wicked as one generation followed another. Finally, God decided to destroy mankind and all beasts and birds. God was sorry he had made men, but one man pleased God. This man was Noah, a descendant of Seth. Noah was righteous and blameless. He walked with God. He also taught his three sons to obey God. Now God planned to use Noah in a very strange and special way. The start of man's sadness, a story from God's word, the Bible, is found in Genesis 3 to 6. The entrance of your word gives light, Psalm 119, 130. The Bible story tells us about our wonderful God who made us and who wants us to know him. God knows we have done bad things, which he calls sin. The punishment for sin is death, but God loves us so much, he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and be punished for our sins. Then Jesus came back to life and went home to heaven. If you believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive 
your sins, He will do it. He will come and live in you now, and you will live with Him forever. If you want to turn from your sins, say this to God. Dear God, I believe that Jesus died for me and now lives again. Please come into my life and forgive my sins so that I can have new life now and one day go to be with you forever. Help me to live for you as your child. Amen. Read the Bible and talk with God every day. John 3.16